Installing your KonoSmart is easy. All you need to do is follow these simple steps. KonoSmart can be installed with a C wire or without a C wire using the included Lux Power Bridge. In this video, you will learn how to install your KonoSmart without a C wire using the Lux Power Bridge. For this type of installation, you'll need access to your furnace. If you have a C wire, click here to watch the tutorial on installing your Kono with a C wire. Before diving into the installation process, check to make sure the following is in the box. You should have your Lux Kono Smart thermostat, the Lux power bridge, a trim plate, two screws, two wall anchors, and wiring labels. If something is missing, be sure to inform your retailer so that you can be provided with a replacement. Now that you've identified the items in the box, you'll need the following tools for installation. Have on hand a drill, a Phillips screwdriver, a wire stripper, and your smartphone. Next, download the Lux app from the App Store or the Google Play Store, depending on your smartphone device. After the app has downloaded, open it up and create an account. Now, set your phone aside and turn off the power to your heating and cooling system before performing any wiring. Confirm your system is powered down by changing the temperature on your thermostat and listening to the ventilation system. If it doesn't make a sound and you don't feel air exiting your vents, that means you are powered down. Remove the front of your old thermostat from its base. If you see thick black wires, wire nuts, or any labels that say 120 to 240 VAC or high voltage, your system is not compatible with KonoSmart. If you do not see any of these, then you can continue with the installation process. Now that you're ready to begin the wiring process, confirm that your old thermostat has one of the following wiring configurations. Conventional one heat, one cool, YGWR. Conventional two heat, one cool, YGW1W2R. If you have a different configuration than what is listed above, Please contact Lux Technical Support for help with your installation. Start by taking a picture of your current wiring to use as a reference later on in the installation process. Gently remove each wire and make sure they don't fall back into the wall. Use the wire labels to mark which wire is connected to each terminal in your old thermostat. Next, remove the mounting screws from the base of your old thermostat and remove the base from the wall. If your old base screw locations do not fit the KonoSmart base, drill new holes and use the wall anchors to mount the new base. If you'd like to use the trim plate, now is the time to place it on the wall before mounting the base. Once the base of your KonoSmart is securely mounted, Follow the terminal labels on the thermostat base marked power bridge. Press the lever next to the terminal down while inserting the wire into the top hole of the corresponding terminal. Connect the Y wire to terminal 1. Connect the W wire to terminal 2. Connect the R wire to terminal 3. Connect the G wire to terminal 4. Once you've finished wiring your thermostat, securely fasten your Kono Smart to its base. The next steps will take place at your furnace while it's still powered off. Go to your furnace and remove the door panel. Locate your control board and transformer. In most cases, four wires should be running from your furnace to your thermostat. Y, G, W, and R. Any additional wires should be left as is. Next, disconnect the wires from the control board. Open up your power bridge by removing the top casing. Now, insert each of the wires that were disconnected from your furnace into the corresponding terminals in the power bridge. Connect the Y wire to Terminal 1. Connect the W wire to Terminal 2. Connect the R wire to Terminal 3. Connect the G wire to Terminal 4. Once those are secure, insert the wires coming out from the power bridge into the corresponding terminals on your furnace control board. You will now have a wire going into the C terminal on your furnace. Secure the power bridge to your furnace and put your panel door back on. Return the power back on to your heating and cooling system. 